Chris Wagner gameplay. We finally went ahead and we unlocked him and I got up, it is 7 a.m. I got a bright and early recording on this Honus Wagner gameplay. Last night, live on Twitch, we unlocked the 99. You can play shortstop, third base, left, center, right, first base. 123, 125 contact, 88, 89 power, 125 vision, 96 speed, 98 stealing, diamond fielding with a 90 arm strength, 87 reaction, what? Now to get this card, you basically have to unlock every card in the game, essentially 50 rookie cards, 60 breakout cards, 60 signature series cards. This was the hard part. This took a 1 million stub spending spree to get done on top of everything that I've grinded this year. And uh, that's how we ended up getting the Honus Wagner. So make sure you're following me on Twitch. The link is in the description. Again, I unlocked this card live on Twitch last night and I hopped into technically two games. In the first game, my opponent rage quit after Duke Schneider home run in like the second inning. But then in that second game that I hopped in, we ended up winning and Honus Wagner went three for four with two stolen bases in that second game. He's three for five with three stolen bases in total. And today he's gonna make his YouTube debut on the squad leading off. We're gonna go Wagner, Gwynn, Mays, Garrick, Longoria. Actually, I'm gonna switch Duke Snyder and Tony Gwynn. We'll go Wagner, Snyder, Mays, Garrick, Longoria, Alomar, Gwynn, and Shelfie behind the plate. I had my chat vote last night if I should play with Longo or Matt Williams, and it was an overwhelming vote for Matt Evan Longoria, and then he hit a no doubter. I'm hoping this coffee wakes me up a little bit. It's still first thing in the morning here. But we got Longo. This is not sponsored, by the way. Longo's got the 91, 98, 91, 94, 90 vision, diamond fielding, uh, 60 speed. He was actually the, the very last signature series that I picked up to finish the set. So we're going to rock out with him on third. And then our pitching staff, we're going to have Verlander, Nolan Ryan, Kershaw, Bumgarner, and Wainwright. The only addition to our pen because of the Wagner set is Trevor Hoffman and Felipe Vasquez. Our bench is going to be Ricky Henderson, Cody Bellinger, brand new to the squad, 99 Joey Votto, Frank Thomas, and Rogers Hornsby. Now, what I'm considering doing since I unlocked, I bought like 25 signature series cards the other day, I'm thinking about doing a team build with only players I haven't used. So we could do a team build with like George Brett, Monty Irvin, Dustin Pedroia, Larry Doby, um, Slaughter, Braun, Ashby, Stargell, Hanley, Ramirez, Lou Brock, like a team build with like all signature series players that I have yet to use, just an entire team of guys I have no experience with and jumping into ranked seasons. How would you guys like feel about that? Let's get 2,000 likes down below. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up down below if you wanna see me do an all random signature series team build guys I have not used before and just hop into a game and debut nine dudes at the same time I think that would be a lot of fun let's see how many likes we can get on this video we unlocked Honus Wagner this honestly I'm gonna say this again though before we do jump into the gameplay if I wasn't a content creator I would not have done this set I wouldn't even have considered doing this set and the average Joe can't do this set anyone who does not know maybe you don't know anything about baseball cards and that's fine the Honus Wagner card that you see on the graphic that they use to make the card that is what his real life card looks like a lot like all the other live series MLB the show cards in Diamond Dynasty are based off the tops baseball cards in real life this Honus Wagner card is based off of the most rare baseball card in the world the card sold for over two million dollars in real life that's why they wanted to do this set to where this card's almost impossible to get because in real life there's only one of them and it's it costs two million dollars but 2.1 million dollars to buy this card so they wanted to replicate that rarity in some way to way it was almost like almost impossible for the average joe to get the card that's what they wanted they understand that the majority of the population isn't going to get this card but i also think that that's why they didn't make this card like like Pepe Alzar and just 125 of them all the way across the board. Is this a very, very good card? Absolutely. But your creative player at shortstop is still just as good or better because you can customize them to whatever you like and you can boost them up with equipment. So it's not like this card's a game changer and if you're facing him, you lose. It's not going to work out like that. But I went ahead and I did this set and I'm going to put Wagner on the team just for the sake of playing with him. I know people want to see gameplay with him. Most people aren't going to be able to get them. So people want to see the gameplay with him. And that's exactly what I am here here for. We're going to debut Honus Wagner on Ranked Seasons right now. You can also get
get your warning track power merch in the description box down below and I give these away on Twitch all the time. All you have to do is be watching the streams. We do chat and giveaways all the time. Make sure you're using code SHELFIE at SeatGeek for a flat 20 bucks off your order. It's basically a free ticket. We got a month and a half of really important baseball coming up. I know you're going to some games down the stretch. 20 bucks at a baseball game is basically a free ticket, especially for my nosebleed tailgate party peeps. I feel you. Use the code, take advantage, helps you out, helps me out. Let's jump into this ranked seasons game and get a dub. It's gonna be Wainwright versus Kershaw. He's got his creative player in center field in the five hole. He's got Lou Gehrig, George Brett. Uh, each row in the nine hole, Wainwright batting eighth. Omar Vizquel leading it off with Gwynn and Alomar 2-3. Going to PNC Park because why not? My opponent's got 466 games of ranked seasons experience. So uh, he's been grinding it out with his goon squad. He plays with his goon squad a lot. Let's see if we can steal the win. We're taking Wagner to PNC. First pitch, fastball down and away, and Longo's going to get the first action for the first out. 1-1 one, one fastball in. That's a broken bat, but Shelfie took forever to jump up from behind the plate, and it's going to be a single. I'm getting that animation a lot right now. It's a good sinker. We're 1-1. One, one. Double play ball. Got him to chase the sinker down off the plate. Should have went to second. Thought I had a chance to get him at third. Wow. Infield single. I get my ground ball, but he hit it a little bit harder than I would like. Now he's got second and third with one out. Well, that kind of spiraled quickly after what should have been a routine second out. Ground ball to second base. If I would have gone to second, that would have been the end of the inning. If we would have made a routine play, that would have been the end of the inning. But instead, he takes the lead, and he's got his creative player coming up with two outs and a runner on third. So we got to we gotta keep this at one at least. Third hook now. Let's go back to that hook. Good pitch. Take a seat. Dang it, I really feel like he shouldn't have scored there. All right, Wags. Like I said, three for five so far. It is my... It is 7.15 in the morning. It is my first at bat of the day. And that's gonna be a ground ball to the left side. That's gonna get, I thought I thought that got by the left, the third baseman, I mean the left fielder. I thought that got by the third baseman. Would have been a tough play on the backhand for the shortstop, but we were way on top of that. Pops it up. Alomar's got it. Still waiting for Wagner to get some gameplay in the field. Now we're gonna bounce the 12-6. See if we can get him on top. And that's a good pitch. Very aggressive on those pitches down. We found a vulnerable spot in his swing. And a first pitch fastball, ground ball to second base from Wainwright. He's gonna have the top of the order up in the third, but we go to the bottom of the second with an opportunity to tie. Longo, that's got some lift to it. It's gonna be just shy of the warning track. All right, a little bit of a better swing there. And now Tony Gwynn, we got a hit and run going there. And we're gonna have runners on the corners. With two down, we just need a knock here out of Shelfie in the eight hole. We will tie this thing up. Oh, that changeup's gross. Hanging curveball, and you can't can say goodbye. It is almost in the water. A three run bomb with two down and Kershaw on deck. And Kershaw rolls it over to first, and then we'll have Wagner leading off to third. We're both in the same spot in our lineups now, going into the third inning. It's three to one. Oh, I need you to make that play. No weak ones, no weak ones. Not right now, that's two already. It's only the third inning. Two one curveball, checks his swing again. Throw that, get him, get him. I knew it. What is up with that noodle throw there? All right, it's three one. Might be on the move here, but I gotta make sure I throw a strike. And he flies out the center. That's a big out. Gwynn swings through a fastball. What a quick pitch here. Now I think he takes off. Had a feeling. We got the quick pitch. We got the throw from our knees. And we do not get the throw down there in time. Ichiro takes second base. It's going to be 0-2. Good hook. Oh, no. Man. Swing through it. Thank you! He was worried about it because he missed it twice earlier. 
Now we got Alomar up. That runner's 90 feet away, but there's two outs. Shelfie, please. Oh my God. Why is he that bad? 2-2 two -two slider and a ground ball to short. There's the Honus Wagner gameplay at shortstop. He gets one on a wild pitch after an infield single. First pitch fastball sneak through. No. That was out over the plate. Oh, man, look at that PCI. I am distraught. <laughs> That'll be the second out on a right center field fly ball to Tony Gwynn. Wow. And now Willie Mays. He got to it. It's carrying out to left, and it's going to get up over the wall. Ground rule double is going to bring up Lou Gehrig now. And I missed it. Mm. He threw the exact same sinker belt high away to Lou Gehrig. Did he throw him the first at bat? But I just kept my PCI stationary at the bottom. I'm gonna sit on that pitch away next time he comes up. First pitch slider down out of the zone is a ground ball base hit up the middle for Lou Gehrig. It's 2-1. Roll over a change up. Thank you. Wagner, six, four, strong throw, three, beautiful. Two down. I'll throw the curveball. Locate, good pitch, beautiful. And now the change up down, and he hits a fly ball at the deep right center field. Are we gonna get there? We should, and that'll do it for the inning. He strands one, and he's got the pitcher spot leading off the next frame. Let's get another run back. Hey, you know, can I get a cheesy infield single or error here to start off the inning? Longo down the line! That'll get in for a hit. That'll be a single to lead off the inning. It's 3-1 to Roberto Alomar with Tony Gwynn on deck. And Alomar. He's not gonna turn two, but that ball was scorched right at the third baseman. First pitch sinker to Tony Gwynn, hits the corner for strike one. Got a terrible jump, but we're gonna hit and run, and Tony Gwynn's gonna rip it out to right. I thought about going to third, but Tony Gwynn's got a hose. We'll just keep first and second here with one out. We got Shelby coming up, hit a three-run bomb last time. Oh no. Oh no. I tried to go hit and run and we hit a pop up. Ay, yay, yay. Now, each is one for one. You got a weak chop infield single last time up. He tends to do that. He gets so many of those type of hits. It's very frustrating, especially when you're getting 108 barrels with Wagner not falling. That's the second out now. Got top of the order coming up. Nobody on, two outs. Now the slider, 2-2. Two -two. Could have been in a better spot. Fouls, another foul ball. Let's go back to the fastball away. Good pitch. Right on the corner. Another strikeout for Kershaw. All right, we still have the lead. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Oh, no. <sighs> All right, good cutter. I'll be honest. That way, if you throw that cutter off of Wainwright's, if you're effectively throwing his sinker, that cutter's going to be really hard to barrel up. We were a little bit underneath of it, looking for that sinker to break. Now Snyder's up with nobody on and two outs, and Duke Snyder rips one out to center field for... Well, that was an unfortunate error. I'm gonna try and stretch it for three and we are gonna be safe at third. All right, we're base hit from stretching the lead. We were due for a break. This guy's gotten a couple, but that was super lame. And then Willie Mays hits a ground ball to third base. That is gonna end the inning. We didn't deserve that run most likely anyway, but all right, we go into the sixth. Oh, one slider on Tony Gwynn. I did not want the front door slider there, but it'll be routine to second base. Alomar has it, one down. We go 2-1, curveball inside again. Alomar hits it to Alomar. We have two down here in the sixth. Get him late, but we're gonna go to the slider. 0-2, oh, perfect pitch. Gets him to chop it. These type of balls have been difficult for us today, but we make the play. We need nine more outs to win this ball game. I would like to, to hit though. It's been a dead, terrible debut for Wagner, even though he has a perfect swing. Right, here's that Lou Gehrig sinker away. Finally! I finally barreled it! Third time's the charm, adios baseball! 
Oh, Roberto Alomar got a fastball up, and that's going to be extra bases. Get in that corner. Adam, boy. That's going to go all the way to 410. That'll be a triple. That's almost inside the park territory right there. All right, we're base knocked from stretching this lead one more time. And there's only one out. This is big at bat for Gwyn. Just put the ball on the ground. Ground ball to second base. Or a fly ball to right. Is that going to be deep enough? It will be deep enough. That'll definitely be deep enough. Tony Gwynn's got a hose, and you're going to have to run, but we should be safe by a bit. And we are. We extend the lead on a sacrifice fly. Tony Gwynn comes through. Now Shelfie's going to step in. Nobody on two outs. Last time up. He did not come through after his three-run homer to in his first at-bat, and now he's going to line out to end the inning. All right, well, that's our second good swing in three at-bats for Shelfie. We now have a three-run lead going into the seventh. Fly ball out to right. He chased the fastball off the corner. Tony Gwynn will not settle under it. I'm getting nervous. He makes the play. Brings up George Brett. And that's a slider. He rolls over to first. Lou Gehrig has it. That's a one, two, three, seventh inning. Kershaw, Dyson. We need six outs to win a ball game. And Kershaw, again, with not a bad swing, but we were a little bit off the end of the bat there, one down. Wainwright's only at 57 pitches here in the seventh, whereas Mike Kershaw is throwing 20 more pitches than Wainwright, but I'm being aggressive. He's throwing a lot of first pitch sinkers over the plate. Wagner's 0 for 3. This may be his last at bat. I was taken all the way. All right, it's 0-1. Hasn't been a great game for him. Although that ground ball swing earlier should have been an opposite field home run. He is 0 for 4. Of course he's 0 for 4. He was 3 for 4 on Twitch in his debut. 0 for 4 in his YouTube debut. Let's try and get it back around to him in the 8th. Throw that sinker away. We can throw it in. Oh my goodness, Duke Snyder. I power swung there for anyone curious. Nobody on two outs. Duke Snyder with a righty. Why not? Swing with square. and We were all over that sinker. Look at that PCI. Good night. Now, Willie Mays first pitch curveball rolls it over. That looked like a hanger, but it was actually a perfect shin high curveball down out of the zone. We stretch the lead. We're up by four. It's six to two. We got 10 hits. We go into the top of the eighth. Fastball up. Pump seam up. I think this guy's checked out a little bit mentally here. One down. I will go back to the heater up and in. And he pops it up. Finally, one of those foul balls stays in play. We got two down in the eighth. Oh dear. He's pitching with his with his uh with a hitter. I don't even know who that is. I think it's Brooks Robinson that he's pitching with. He's just gonna keep him out there. Okay. Someone's giving up. That's gonna be back to back base hits, and we're gonna keep on moving. Let's just tally them on at this point, and see if we can get Wagner back up, right? Why not? Oh, we're going to be out in second. That's the, uh, well, okay, we're safe. Whew. All right, let's, if we can get another Wagner at bat, that'd be nice. And if it wants to be against a hitter, that'd be beautiful. Well, that's unfortunately an out. All right, we're going to have seven, eight, nine coming up with one out. I need a couple more hits so we can get Wagner in at bat. Tony wins two for two. There you go. Just kind of keep moving the train. Get it to the next guy. We need to get Wagner up. I'm trying to hit a bomb of Wagner off Brooks Robinson. Shelfie up. No, that's a double play. I hate my life. I am the won't. I am the worst of all time. Going for the complete game with Clayton Kershaw. Give the bullpen the day off here. 0-2 oh, change up. He's looking for the fastball. Clearly, but he fouls that off somehow. Very early swing. It's basically in the dirt on the left-hander's batter's box, but he gets a piece of it. Now, one-two slider, and that is a line drive to short. Attaboy, Honus! Doesn't do anything at the plate today, but he's in the field with them uh, them high socks on. No number on the bag, just like Hornsby. I love it. Kind of sucks that we didn't play well with him, but at least we got some good swings in. I mean, we did have one really good swing with him that just didn't get through. We played well with him on Twitch last night. Three for four with three stolen bases in his, technically his first full game. One nothing. We went down one nothing early. And then he took the lead again. But Honus Wagner makes the final out. 
couldn't script it any better. Player of the game is Duke Snyder. He hit an absolute bomb. I'm so happy we picked him up. He's been a big upgrade to the squad as well. We're gonna get more Goon Squad gameplay up this week. And again, if you guys want to see me put a signature series team build together with only signature series cards I have yet to use, let's get this video to 2,000 likes. Go down there, hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. If you're new, subscribe. We got daily MLB The Show content on this channel. I also upload a lot of Madden. Gonna be uploading NHL. Uh, that guy was playing for World Series, so that sucks. Sorry, not sorry. Puts our rating at 748. We're making our way towards championship series. If you guys enjoyed again, hit that thumbs up on your way out. I'd greatly appreciate it. Use that seat geek code. It's a free ticket. I'm out of here, boys. Peace. Signature series pack. Not sure. We're probably not going to see player of the month until next week. Maybe not this Friday, but the Friday after. We'll probably get player of the month. So we got a lot of stuff coming up on MLB. In the last pack squads video, we had probably one of our worst gameplay videos of the year. JD Martinez made his debut. We actually hit the ball well with him, but unfortunately he made an error with the bases loaded and two outs on a pretty routine ball. He's got bad fielding. Just hate to see those routine plays not get made, but is what it is. We didn't hit the ball.